Hello! Welcome to Jadekind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I will be unboxing the Secret Lair times Doctor Who Regeneration. Secret Lair is a Magic the Gathering thing, where it's special cards that you could only get through them on their website or resellers after that. Um, and I've seen it for, I think, a couple of years at least. But never gotten any until now. Um, of course, I've been... Uh, I got, whatever, the set of Doctor Who Commander decks, which I finally played with recently. It's nice. Um, and, and that came with, like, all the Doctors. Except they did it right at the end of the run of a Doctor, and while I haven't seen... The special with the 14th, or I haven't seen the 15th. Like, I haven't seen any of the new stuff. I'm like, I wanted to get the cards for the new stuff. So that I... Otherwise, I, I would be starting out with my collection incomplete. I just can't have that. Um, and I figured, even though really to get this, I, I guess you'd only have to, like, find resellers on, like, eBay or something. Um, it's at least a look at what the... Secret Layer series is like to get, because um, I have no idea. So, I had no idea expecting here. It came in a little white box, the full front. Yeah, it just says Secret Lair Drop Series on the front, and Secret Lair times Doctor Who Regeneration here. Um, let's me know, contains five cards. Um, Check the Gathering, blah, blah, blah. Take the shot, anyways. Clearly designed to be opened. Hmm. That's nice. Okay, so that's nice. Design here. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's get the TARDIS there. Peels out here. Oh, okay, okay. See this this feels more like like nice packaging like I might expect. Okay. Secret layer times Doctor Who regeneration. It slides out. Secret layer drop series. <laughs> you gotta open this box a lot of times. This is okay. Has a little tacky thing to hold this in. Although that one stayed in the box, so let's remove it to make sure it doesn't accidentally get on any cards. I don't remember how expensive this was. I just remember feeling like it was really expensive for the number of cards. Um, but I was like, you know what? I want to eventually get one of these, so might as well grab this one. Uh, obviously, um, I've had a lot of things spoiled for me about the upcoming... Or, I guess, the, the recent Doctor Who specials. So while I haven't seen them, I'm familiar with... Uh, Rose Noble. Um, so legendary creature, yeah, and, and whatever, it's got like the full, you know, I get, you know, it's, it's not like, it's full art across here. Um, whenever you cast a doctor spell or creature spell with doctor's companion, draw a card, doctor's companion. Uh, so this can be a companion along with one of your doctors. Uh, the daughter of a time traveler, ready for adventures of her own. Uh, the Meep. I, I don't really know too much about Meep, but it's an alien. Ward, pay for your life. Whenever the Meep attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, creatures you control have base power and toughness XX until end of turn, where X is the sacrifice creature's mana value. All hail the Meep! The Celestial Toymaker. Um... Who I know is uh, yeah, Patrick Harris playing a character that was in like the old Doctor Who stuff, and I know that the I think it was the Immortals in one of the Thirteenth Doctor stories mentioned the Toy Maker, and I was rewatching that after being aware of like the specials going. I was like, oh wait a minute, they were setting that up. Anyways, Rogue Artificer, whenever the Celestial Toy Maker attacks, uh, look at the top three cards of your library, exile any number of them. Uh, in a face-down pile, and the rest in a face-up pile, defending player chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your hand. 
Uh, at the beginning of each end step, each opponent loses two life for each spell or ability that caused one or more players to guess or to group cards or permanents into a pile this turn. That is very specific. Okay. <laughs> um, but three cards, so good for being a commander. Um... Fourteenth Doctor, which wild to have tenant back, but uh, yeah. So uh, when you cast this spell, reveal the top f uh, fourteen cards of your library. Put all Doctor cards revealed this way into your graveyard, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. You may have the Fourteenth Doctor enter the battlefield as a copy of a Doctor card in your graveyard that was put there from your library this turn. If you do, it gains haste until end of turn. I'm pretty sure all of the doctors fall into one of those four, four colors. This is four colors. So he'd be great for making like a custom um, like commander deck. Although having played a game of commander finally, I realize it's um, the most daunting part about it would be making a deck for that. I'm like, hmm, I don't, I don't know if I'm planning to do that. And then, of course, the 15th Doctor. Um, whenever the 15th Doctor enters the battlefield or attacks, mill three cards. You may put an artifact card with the mana value 2 or 3 from among them into your hand. The first non-artifact spell you cast each turn has Improvise. Your artifacts can help cast this spell. Each artifact you tap after you've, uh, you're done activating mana abilities pays for one colorless. So, yeah. So we got 14th and 15th Doctors. And then there's this thing that I that I did hear about, but did not know to expect. And I, think this is super awesome, there is, because that was the five cards. This is a sixth card. It's hidden at the bottom. You gotta know to look for it. Careful, Adam, don't bend it. <laughs> Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, the doctor's te uh, technologically advanced tool helps them uh, out in most situations. I think, I think this card is already in several of the decks, but I think it's new art, and it's definitely all the way across. So, fun time. Pretty blue sonic screwdriver. So really, I got six cards, not five. So neat. Very neat. Okay. I'm just going to set it on here, and they will just live in this box for now. Um, they will go in this sleeve. They'll go in this box. Keep them safe, you know. Hmm. So, yeah. I, I really had no real concept of what to expect other than obviously the cards but like for the packaging that was that was it came looking less fancy than i expected and ended up being more fancy than i expected but uh <laughs> it came looking very mundane um but yeah that that was the secret layer times doctor who regeneration got me a, a few more cards and just a big doctor who fan I, i've been enjoying the interaction it's had now being part of magic and look look forward as more and more things become part of magic so um i guess i will maybe link just to the secret layer part of the wizard site where you could see whatever current secret layers they have um obviously if you want these specific cards you're looking at the aftermarket um but thank you for watching like comment subscribe 